Hey everybody, Ian Campbell here and today we are going to be talking about how to duck dive on a bodyboard. Today I thought I would take you through some of the steps to duck dive and learning how to duck dive and getting under waves a lot easier. If you guys want to stay around until the end of the video, I'm going to give you a lot more tips on how to duck dive bigger waves and get under sections that seem to be breaking kind of on top of you. Before we continue with the video, I have set up a membership platform on boogieeveryday.com. In the membership, we are gonna be showing you more on behind the scenes content from vlogs, training programs, extra tips and tricks on how to get better at bodyboarding, as well as member only merch and giveaways. If you are interested in this, head on over to boogieeveryday.com for more info. The first thing we need to remember when duck diving is forward momentum is generally your best bet. Paddling towards a wave will give you momentum that will help you to push under and actually travel underwater a lot quicker and avoid the turbulence of the foam. When you are stationary, the chances of you getting caught up in the foam is a lot higher and this might end up pushing you further towards the beach and not getting under the white water completely. The best trick in duck diving is to know where you are. Always know where you are when waves are breaking and try to avoid having the wave land on your head. The five steps that I would take to get under a wave are as follows. The first step would be to paddle towards the wave. Paddling towards a wave will allow for more momentum when you start to push down, allowing you to get deeper. The second step would be to go into a push-up position, submerging the nose underwater. In this push-up position, your hand placement is about where your elbows would be. I am pushing the board completely down in that push-up position, forcing the nose underwater. The third step would be to put your knee at the back of the board to force the nose and the board underwater. This helps to drive the nose of the board under the water with momentum. Here you can see my knee placed at the back of the board, forcing the board underneath the water and actually pushing it in order to make it flat. The fourth step would be to flatten the board until the wave has passed. You can see me here actually kicking underwater in order to keep the momentum traveling and going forward. The fifth and last step is to use your hands and your arms in order to angle the board back up to the surface. Because the bodyboard is buoyant, it will shoot you straight up to the surface and this will allow you to break the surface and continue paddling on. To recap on those steps, we are going to do a push-up position, forcing the nose underwater, followed by the knee on the back of the board, which is gonna further push the board deeper. And after that, we're gonna try and flatten the board as best we can. Once we're in that position, we're gonna wait for the wave to pass over us while we might be kicking a little bit. And then we are gonna tilt the board up and head straight for the surface coming up and continuing to paddle on. Here are some other tips and tricks that I really wanna share with you. Keep your eyes open underwater. This will help you to see air pockets in order to follow to get up towards the surface. Learn where the low pressure points are on a wave. This will allow you to figure out exactly when to duck dove and where to duck dove when those heavier waves are breaking on you. There are sections of the wave that have low and high pressures and getting into these positions will really help you to break it to the surface and allow you to duck dive a lot better. If you do get caught underwater by a heavy wave, know that all you need to do is relax and stay calm. By relaxing and staying calm, this will allow your body to save oxygen and save energy and will actually push you to the surface a lot quicker. By fighting the wave, it keeps you down and holds you down a little bit longer. And on top of that, you are losing oxygen as well as energy by fighting the ocean. Thanks for watching today's video, and if you guys wanna learn how to duck out bigger waves, click the link up here or in the description down below, and that'll take you to the next video, which is learning how to duck dive bigger waves.